Hey guys, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to talk about one of the most anticipated software plugins for 2020, which is called Easy Bass from ToonTrack. Um, this one is nothing short than amazing. I had the chance to test it for some days because ToonTrack gave me a free copy thanks to ToonTrack and full disclosure here. However, as always, they never asked me to make a review or to talk about specific things or to praise it. But I can already can tell that this is nothing short than amazing and it's really great uh, and it can be a game changer. Uh, for every one of you who don't want to listen to my talking uh, or just want to listen to the preset, how it sounds, I made a dedicated video showing just the presets. You find the link somewhere here on the screen or in the description box below. I will talk about some audio examples, of course, in my review right now, but there are some guys that just want to listen how it sounds and make their own opinion about this. And for me, honestly, finally, as a drummer, I get the chance to control what my bass player is playing. So without further bass player jokes uh, and without further ado, let's jump into it. So what is Easy Bass? Easy Bass is a basically a basically no pun intended a virtual instrument with uh, two libraries that come along. But in the end, it's so much more. You really feel that ToonTrack put all their knowledge and experience, which they gained over the last twenty years, making products like Superior Drummer, uh, Easy Drummer, and Easy Keys into this uh, software. So, first of all. Um, let's look at the software itself or the overview. If you are familiar with Superior Drummer, um, you find this interface, maybe it looks familiar, it follows the same logic. So if you own one of the um, ToonTrack products I just mentioned, you will quickly feel um, at home and familiar using the software. So you have five different tabs here in the top where you see the, the base itself, which looks gorgeous, by the way. You have grooves, um, the software comes with a lot of grooves. You have a grid editor where you can fine tune the performance that you captured or used from the grooves library. You have this drums in keys tab, which is amazing. And I will show you an example. Basically what this uh, feature allows you, you can um, drag and drop um, a MIDI file coming from a keyboard like Easy Keys or from Easy Drummer or Superior Drummer into the software. And the software will then suggest a matching baseline uh, that you can use, which is amazing. And you have audio tracker where you can either record audio. Uh, so if you have a bass guitar, just hit record, uh, plug your um, bass guitar into your interface and record a bass line and the software will just record it and convert this into MIDI so you can further tweak and process using easy bass. Uh, or you can just, which works as well, you can just clap your hands or clap on the table um, so you can record, um, let's say, a groove, an idea that you have, and the software will transfer this to MIDI as well. So this is an awesome feature. <clears throat> the software itself, or the, inter the uh, GUI, is completely resizable, um, as you know from Superior Drama, which is great. The software works standalone as well as, of course, as a VST plugin within your DAW. They sampled two different libraries. Uh, you can switch between Easy Bass Modern, which is an alembic bass guitar, so really um, high quality stuff, and Easy Bass Vintage, which is a 1960s uh, Fender Jazz bass. Um, this follows uh, the same idea that they had for Easy Drama, where you have two different libraries, Modern and Vintage. Within each library, you have different presets. Um, you see they uh, distinguished between finger and pick. Um, so because they sampled both different versions uh, and this goes for both modern and vintage. The, the preset itself sometimes change, of course, depends on the style they want to create. The moment you pick one of them, the effects button, which you find just below that changes as well. So um, depending on the preset, you can dial in some EQ, some effects, or you can just use the DI signal recorded into DAW and maybe use um, third party plugins. The grooves that come along with the software, um, you see you find a ton of them. Um, if you're familiar with Easy Drama again and Superior Drama, you know the idea behind this. It's uh, separated between genres, time signatures, time and song structure like intro verse chorus and all that stuff so they just like let you can just preview one of them here by hitting the play button
or you can just drag and drop them down here um, and, st and start building your song from here. Once the beat is down here, you can of course change the key, which you already know from uh, easy keys, of course, if you wish so. You can of course change um, the song structure. Um, so let's say make this an intro, make this uh, a verse, uh, and by double clicking on the actual MIDI file, you see the MIDI is popping up in this grid editor where you can um, either replace them, move them around to different notes, or you can do some fancy stuff by highlighting, for instance, two different notes. Go here to the top um, and you can add a slider here to make it more human. You can highlight some notes. Um, you can change um, how the beat has been played or the groove has been played with um, auto alternating fingers, which is of course the most common one. Just using the middle finger, index finger, you can add ghost notes, harmonics, you can use um, uh, a percussive right hand move. So let's do this. Let's make this um, not a harmonic, let's say a ghost note and this one a ghost note as well. And let's say the two of them percussive, so this is how it sounds. So you see the options are nearly endless. And let's listen to some of the presets here. So this was the clean DI, clean as you would expect it, uh, but you really can really tell that this already sounds um, amazing. So let me just quickly remove the, uh, the groove here. Let's pick another one. So this sounds funky. Let's pick this one and let's um, listen to some presets. Let's go for the deep app. As this is a funky groove, let's call a uh, quick uh, use funking. And of course you have some uh, heavy um, distortion for all you metal guys out there, of course, as well. Of course you can play um, just as with Superior Drum, Easy Drummer, by just hitting uh, the different strings here. Um, so this is amazing. Let's go to the vintage um, and let's pick the mid scoop here. You can um, pick tuning as well. You can, uh, while playing, uh, change the octave here. So this is of course great for changing a given uh, MIDI performance, a MIDI groove here. Um, you stay in the same key, you just jump in the octave. Uh, you can of course change semitones as well and sense. Uh, there's this tuning system, which I honestly haven't found out in the press uh, stuff they provided into this uh, software, which I got. Uh, what's really the difference? Um, by default, it's set to perfect, which says each note is tuned separately. Um, or um, tuned like a bass, um, like a real bass guitar, or like Easy Keys Piano. So let's listen, let's go to the Clean DI again, listen how this sounds when I switch between them. But the greatest things, um, or which I, as a drummer and music producer, um, find amazing, is that you can uh, that the software helps you finding um, a baseline beside all the because so far this is 
let's say rather common stuff which you already know from easy drama and superior drama you have a midi library you can build your song but the really power um the software unleash unleashes its power uh, using the um converting to midi features here so um as described briefly already some minutes ago you can drag just given midi pre um stuff here and the cool thing is the software works um, um, you can just open an instance of Easy Keys, for instance, here, and you can straight coming from Easy Keys um, using a. So you can now just drag and drop coming from Easy Keys into Easy Base, which is amazing. And now, once you drag in a MIDI, uh, first of all, the software recognizes that this is a keyboard MIDI plate, and you can preview this. And you can, from here, if you are not happy, uh, directly go to show similar grooves uh, and you find grooves in the given middle library and assume they will build this library uh, the same they do with the other products uh, in the last in the next years. So all you need is just a basic keyboard groove and you can build um, a matching baseline, which is just amazing. So you can just now drag and drop this down here. But let's now use a drum uh, library. I open an instance of Easy Drummer, uh, and of course, usually you do this within the DAW, but just to find uh, a groove. So let's go to the presets here and let's find a, um, a funky groove here. So this sounds nice. Drag it into here. And again, the software is instantly rec recognizing, no, we don't want to save this, that this is a drum beat. So you can follow along either just follow the kick drum, which is the most basic approach, um, the kick drum and the snare. Um, and you can even have that um, he's playing percussive slaps on the strings with the snare, um, or you just follow the power hand. So let's start with the basic groove here. Another cool feature which I really find impressive is this convert audio to MIDI because it works so impressively well. Um, as I said, you can just straight record into Easy Bass using your own bass guitar, um, or you can use a, a given audio file that the software instantly recognizes. So let me pick um, some famous bass lines which are already prepared. So you will see, already see the names. So let's have a listen. You uh, all might know this. So again, just drag and drop it into here. And now um, he's asking what to do, um, converting the bass audio that you just recognized into a MIDI. Uh, you can, could even pick a guitar, if it was a guitar, in this case it was a bass, um, or a percussive instrument. So you can already not only use a drum MIDI performance, but also a drum actual um, live recording of a drum beat or just a kick drum pattern into the software. And he will ask uh, transfer this into MIDI and again, then use all the functionalities within Easy Bass to further tweak it. Um, he's asking um, because the tempo was set by default at 120. However, if you click on the drop down menu here, um, he's already saying, okay, the estimated tempo of that song is 105.2 BPM. So let's pick this. And now he's asking what to add all the percussive stuff that he recognizes, all the grace notes and slides and ghost notes. So let's enable everything. Let's hit OK. And now here, how good the software translated uh, the intro part of Pearl Jam's Jeremy. This is scary how good this is. So let's 
go to a uh, modern library here and let's use this uh, from the distortion here and let's do this again. And you see here in the top um, where you have a mixed slider. So when I go completely to the left, I hear the original audio. Or completely to the right, I just hear easy bass. So you can really, if you think that the preset you just picked is not matching the, uh, the source, you can easy just change the preset here and do the same thing again. Isn't this amazing? Um, and of course, let's do a new session. I'm just so impressed by the software and this feature. Um, let's do uh, another one. So uh, what about this one here? I'm pretty sure you all know this. Again, uh, let's change to the tempo that he was recognizing and hit play. This is simply amazing. Uh, so whenever you find a uh, drum beat online uh, or a bass guitar bass line, a famous bass line, just drag it into the software uh, your favorite baseline, and you instantly have access to this. Uh, maybe you just use a sample of that for your own song. song. So this is really amazing. Well done, Tuntrek. So combining all those ideas, um, I just thought I just made, and it took me literally just five minutes uh, to build a song using all the Tuntrek software that I have. So I started with Easy Keys. I uh, used the small upright piano here and created a or used a MIDI file which I put into Studio One, my DAW. So this is how it sounds just um, with the piano. So it's a little blues track. Um, what I did afterwards, and let me, I switched to um, Easy Bass and used the um, the um, the keys MIDI to follow along um, the bass guitar. So I used the vintage uh, library here uh, and used the preset mid scope. So let's listen to both so far. And then, of course, open an instant of Easy Drummer as well. And what I did here, I created a MIDI groove, a uh, blues groove that matched to the song I just created. Um, so I picked for this the custom shop um, library uh, and picked just a preset and followed along. So let me just jump to the section here where the drums kick in. So now um, this was a groove. I just took five minutes to build upon easy bass, easy keys, and easy drummer all together. I think the, you get the idea. Um, it's really amazing to have access now to a software like Easy Bass. Um, Tuntrack really put all their, as I said already, um, their effort and their experience and their knowledge about sampling instruments and make a great product out of it into Easy Bass. I think this will be a huge success um, from all the 
let's say, feedback I got already and I saw over the last weeks and month the moment Toontrack announced um, that Easy Base will come and will be released someday. So guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this software? Um, did you anticipate this as much as many others? Are you considering to buy it? And what would you uh, like to see in the future? I'm not a bass player, so um, now I'm in the situation that I probably need some help from some guitar and bass players um, to really kind of like humanize and make great sounding grooves. Um, I for sure will definitely use it a lot uh, whether to, especially in a mixing situation, um, where it can really help to replace maybe a sloppy uh, played bass line, just convert the audio into MIDI, um, the same that you did with, or I did already in the past, quite successfully with Superior Drummer. Now I can do this with uh, the bass guitar as well, which is of course amazing, because drums and bass are really the foundation of every song, and having access to um, a library that sounds that good it's really, really great. Um, so far, after some days of testing, I can really tell the software is working flawlessly. For me, it's really impressive how accurate the software uh, recognizes uh, a groove, a given groove, whether it's a MIDI performance from Easy Keys or a keyboard MIDI performance and drum MIDI performance or an actual recorded bass guitar. So let me know in the comment section what you think about the product. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.